If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, it's X Racer. Welcome back to another Blackout video. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to unlock the Ruin skin. Now this is actually a pretty simple skin to unlock. It took me a while to unlock just because I kept going to the wrong places and I, I was being stubborn and not wanting to go to the specific location where you're gonna have the most success. So honestly, at the end of the day, this should be an easy one. They should be able to complete. And honestly, you can get it done actually relatively fast. So let's go ahead and talk about how you unlock Ruin. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, drop a like on the video. And if you enjoy the series and wanna see more, obviously make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel. So let's go ahead and start. So you actually have to pick up a special quest item for Ruin. This can be located in one of three different locations. One is at the lighthouse, the second highest most ring. And you're going to find it just around the edge on there. You can get on this one either by gliding down from the plane or you can use a grapple to get yourself up there. The other location is going to be located in construction on one of the beams, which is going to be the one directly above that blue container that is located next to the helipad. So again, this is another location that you can dive down into or you can use a grapple to get to. The last location, the easiest one, and the one that I found it at, and honestly the location you should just go to in every match, is the Roof of Asylum. So if you go to the Roof on Asylum, you're going to find a pair of boxing mitts. Now these are the same ones that are used when people are practicing their, their boxing, their, the mitts that they're hitting. Not the mitts, they're not gloves you wear, but actual mitts. And so these are going to be located randomly throughout the Blackout map in those three locations. Sometimes it'll spawn in one or the other. But I would highly recommend that you just keep going to Asylum. It's the easiest one. You can glide down super easy. The other two, you have to have nearly a perfect drop just to make it on top or you need to find a grapple. And with this one, it's the fastest one. It's the least stressful because you're literally just landing on top of Asylum. And if the gloves are not there, then you can just end the game and try again. And I... Took me a while to do this, but finally when I was able to kind of stop being so stubborn and decided to just go strictly to Asylum, it really went by fast. So once you pick up the mitts that are located on top of Asylum, you essentially just have to get one more thing, which is a close quarter kill. So what this means is you can get either a melee kill on someone, which why? There's no point in you doing that. I'm just mentioning it because you can get it to count via that, but the best bet, find the shotgun or any kind of SMG or honestly any weapon because when you're landing, there's going to be a lot of people who don't really have armor or weapons, etc. And you just want to run up to them, spray them with your weapon, like close quarter, like you have to be pretty decently close to them, like shotgun range, I would say. And then if you kill them, you're going to automatically have that check mark completed for the quest. And then the final one is just to die with the gloves or the mitts in your inventory. So make sure you keep them. Don't just like kill someone and then throw them away or give them to your, your friend. Make sure that you are actually dying with those mitts in your inventory. Now, once you die, if your friend wants to down you right after you have completed it, he can do that, down you, kill you, pick up your gloves, and then he can try to get it done, which is a tip that I found out after I had completed it. I realized I was like, yo, I could have just died giving the mitts to my friend, and then he could have completed the challenge. But he ended up completing it actually later on, so it didn't really matter. But I'm just saying, if you are playing in duos, one of you can pick it up, get the close quarter kill, have your your teammate just kill you and down you and then like eliminate you, and then he can just go through your stuff, pick up your mitts, and that's it. So it's honestly not that hard to complete this one, like I was saying. It's just being stubborn, keep going to the same location, and then eventually you will be able to pick up these mitts, and then it's just a close quarter kill from there. And you don't even need to place top five or anything it's just once you get the kill you're gonna honestly just die right then and there and you're good so again make sure that it's close quarter make sure that it's within shotgun range if you can just get up in their face and blast them with a shotgun or get up in their face and just hip fire them with an smg i would highly recommend that i got really lucky in my gameplay and i was able to kill someone who had no weapon which was actually kind of hilarious so i'm gonna have the live portion of this now so you guys can listen to what it sounded like because i was kind of Happy, I was I was kind of ecstatic because it took me a while to get this guy and finally it just kind of popped up and I was playing with my friend and we were both able to get it. No, well, I should say I was able to get it and then he died and then later on he was able to get it. But yeah, so I just want to show you guys the rest of this live portion. 
and then also showing off the personalization on it and what it looks like so if you guys did go on to enjoy the video make sure you guys do drop a like and a favor on the video guys it's super appreciated incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a ton more Call of Duty Blackout and Black Ops 4 multiplayer and zombies content coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, and special badges that show up in all my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos. So check that out only if you are willing and able to. And then last thing, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter, best place to talk. Go ahead and give me a follow over there at OGXers. I'll have a link down in the description below. So go ahead and talk to me or if you want to see what I'm up to, Twitter, best place to do so. I will also have links to my gaming and second channel as well. But you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy the live com portion of this. Peace. Mm. Let's do this, Corey. Are you ready, Corey? Are you ready? Mm. I was trying to tell my, my son and his friend were playing earlier. Wait, where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going to f f f f f f f wait asylum. Yes, let's go kill some motherfucking zombies. You want to coast over there? Yeah, let's wait a like, little drop bit. Drop down coast. Let's go. Just, yeah, let's go. Let's drop. drop and coast. I was playing some of that for Fortnite today, Corey. I was telling my son about it. I was like, some, some crazy shit was happening on Fortnite. Uh, the cube was murdering people as we planned it. Oh, Somebody they're there. Else is they're here. there. Somebody else is here. Gary, I got the gloves, Gary! Please don't die here. Somebody Please else is die. here. One nearby. Oh, I got this fucking zoom sight. Where did he go? I don't know. Then he went downstairs. Oh, hit by a zombie. Jeez, that scared me. I don't think this guy has a gun. He died. I got one guy here with me. I have a fucking three times zoom sight on this fucking dog. Yes, I think I completed my challenge. Go away. What, the zombie one? Yeah. Well, not the uh, the one for the, uh, I think, Ruin. I found the gloves on top of the Asylum. And I just had, I think I just had to get a close quarter kill. Kill an enemy close quarter, finish match with punching mitts and in inventory. Yeah, I'm going to get one more specialist. I did it, Kare! <laughs> oh, no! I got you. Down. It's all on you. There's somebody here. I'm dead, Corey. Second floor. He's gonna, he's gonna oh, he find you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you do it? I did it though. You don't have to have an exact placement. So I should have gotten it. I did get a close quarter thing and I did have the mitts in my inventory. So here we go. Let's find out. Should be the easiest specialist that we have ever unlocked. Damn, I had a three time zoom on that dog, dude. Here we go. Boom! I did it! I got ruined! Enough talk! Nice. Let's get down range! Alright, let's try that again. Alright, hold up, hold up. I gotta, I gotta check him. I gotta check him. Make sure I put my character on, so... Here's Ruin. Specialize. He's got his Muertos outfit. Which looks really nice. I'm do yellow face. What's that yellow face? Does it really look yellow? Why does it look yellow in the image, but not yellow in the... I don't know, that's weird. Also got the Viking outfit apparently. Oh, this one looks alright. I like the Muertos one better. Alright. There we go. Alright, cool. So now I'm just gonna select. How do I look, Corey? I got that one. Yeah, but you don't got him in specialist. I mean, in blackout, do you? Shut up. That's right, Corey. The greatest in oh, the, 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 biz. the gloves spawn on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we just go to Asylum. I'll go with you, and then all you have to do is you need to get a close quarter kill, which means you have to just essentially run into someone's face and kill them like point blank, essentially. With your gun, you don't have to. So you you just, don't have to. You don't have to melee them. You just gun gun them down, but you just okay. have to be close. Just have to have it in your. In your yep.